What's up guys, welcome or welcome back to the channel and today we are going to be talking about learning. So if you've been in IT for a while, one of the things that you know that it's very much constant is learning. You always have to keep learning to keep growing in IT. If you want to stay stagnant, then maybe you don't have to learn, right? Maybe you have to learn the basic and get to understand those things and uh, you still have to help this position and you still have whatever position that you want to for a while. But if you want to keep moving up in IT, you're always going to have to keep learning new technology. You're always going to have to keep studying and learning and growing, especially when it comes to taking your certificates, right? So I've been reading a, a, a new book recently or a book that I found recently. I listened to it first and now I'm actually reading it. It is called Make It Stick, The Science of Successful Learning. This is a pretty interesting book. So interesting to me that I've decided to kind of base my study strategy for my next exam on this book so today we're going to take a look at the book we're going to talk about it not so much in detail we're going to talk about why i think it's pretty interesting and why i think that it can help a lot of people like me that are in the it field to not only learn information but learn to not only learn new things but learn and retain new things because that's very important right because when you talk about learning you can learn as much as you can and you can like try to cram as much as you can but for the most part, you do not retain that information. So that's why I find this book pretty interesting because it talks about not only how to learn, but it talks about how do you learn and be able to retain, retain that information so you can build upon it and then achieve that mastery in your field. So we're going to roll the intro clip when we come back. Uh, my, uh, my director Jinx here is going to lecture. And uh, I'm just going to listen to the lecture. <laughs> Let's roll the intro clip. And uh, we'll be right back. Welcome back to the channel. So let's go ahead and uh, start talking about this guy right here. Uh, the guy that's uh, supposed to give the presentation, Jinx, <laughs> is gone. So it's up to me to uh, give you guys the presentation. If you're new here, that's my attempt at a lame joke. <laughs> Welcome and do not forget to hit the subscribe button. But anyway, <laughs> let's go ahead and talk about this book. Um, so just keep in mind that this is going to be uh, an overview of the book, right? And I'm going to talk about how I'm going to apply some of the things that I've learned here um, to two of my exams that I want to study for, which is the AZ 104 as well as the um, Pen Test Plus. Um, now the AZ-104, I've been studying for it for a while and I felt like I was actually ready for the exam. I felt like I was actually ready to take the exam last week. But after reading that um, Make It Stick book, I was like, whoa, I need to take a step back and try to really see if I can actually apply some of the things that I've learned here um, to not only take one exam, but to take two exams at a time, but to, be able, to also be able to kind of really grasp a lot of the information, make them stick, a lot of the new information I'm, that I'm learning, make those information stick for the long run. So when I'm having a conversation with people, uh, when I'm talking about technical stuff, I'm able to give a deep explanation or I'm able to explain myself uh, much better. So let's go ahead and talk about the book. So let's talk about the book's approach to learning. Now, one of the things that I like about this book, it's not completely saying that the old way that we used to now, it does say that the old way that, that we used to learn is not the best, but it's not completely knocking it off to say that that's absolutely rubbish. You should not use those ways to learn anymore. It's just introducing a new way to learn. So the book's approach to learning, I'm going to talk about three points and I'm going to go into those points in detail. The first one is called active retrieval. And then the second point is called interleaving. And then the third point is called spacing repetition. So let's first talk about the first point, which is actual active retrieval. So the book talks about you should try to retrieve the information that you've learned. So the old way of learning is that we go through a book, we highlight stuff, which I've actually done in this book itself. We highlight stuff and then we try to go back and then read that information and try to memorize a lot of the information. However, what the book is saying is that instead of just going back to read the information, to reread the information and try to memorize stuff, you should try to quiz yourself, right? Because when you quiz yourself both before and after um, you read a chapter, you force your brain to try to retrieve the information that you've just learned. So while you're going through the chapter, you can start making or start 
start uh, taking or start creating questions that you can ask yourself at the end of the book, right? And then once you're at the end of the book, you're going to use those questions to say, um, how can I retrieve the information that I've learned from the previous chapter that I just read? But also, I think what the book talks about is saying that if you try to retrieve the information even before you start learning something so let's say you're learning a new concept right and then you try to let's say take a quiz and this book does that actually the pen test does the pen test plus book does that and actually pearson all of the pearson book that i've i've used to study for my other exam does that they quiz you before and after the exam um, after the chapter so they give you a quiz before the chapter, which kind of allow you to know what you already know, right? And it also allows you to retrieve some information that you've learned uh, before reading the book. And then they give you a quiz after the chapter, which kind of allows you to retrieve the information that you've learned um, after reading the chapter. So that's the first part that this book is emphasizing where it says, try to retrieve information don't try to memorize it after you read try to retrieve the information that you read and the harder it is to retrieve the information the better it gets uh, the better you'll be able to remember what you've learned in the long run if it's hard you need to know that learning is hard learning is difficult and the harder it is for you to retrieve the information the better it is um, you'll be the better you'll be able to kind of remember that information in the long run. The second part that this book talks about, and this is the part that I'm excited about and I want to try, it's called interleaving. So interleaving basically just means that try to randomize your studying. So in my case, when I'm studying for the AZ 104, which is the priority for what I need to pass, or I want to pass, I'm going to as well be studying for my pen test plus. So the way it works is that maybe in the morning, I will study for my um, AZ 104, read about an hour, do the things that I need to do, condense that in an hour. And in the evening before going to bed or before relaxing and doing other things, I will read this book for about an hour, right? So the idea is that you have a topic and in that topic you can choose or you have a subject and in that subject you can choose different, different topic to learn about, right? Just don't try to make it all the same because the idea is that when you mix things up, Right? It allows you to understand things better. It allows you to draw connection between this test and this test, right? And doing that, drawing that connection between two different things and mixing up your study and not just studying for one thing allows you to remember things better in the long run. And that's what I'm pretty excited about because first it gives me the opportunity to try to see if I can actually pull off studying for two exams at the same time, but also it allows me to be able to start studying for two things at the same time and able to see if I am able to kind of make that connection between this two um, book right here, right? Where you have the Pentest Plus and you have the AZ 104. I'm curious to see how I'm going to be able to make those connections between those two things. But most importantly, I'm curious to see how I'm going, how I'm going to be able to um, study for both, right? Which is Technically, if you've gone to school here in the US, you've already done that, right? Uh, you study and you have, you've taken more than two classes per semester and things like that. And that forces you to study for two things at the same time. So somewhat, you've already somewhat done that, but this one is very, um, it's very dedicated towards a specific certificate. So I'm curious to see how that works out for me. But that's the second part that this book kind of, this book kind of highlight where it says, try to mix up your studying don't try to study for one thing at the same uh, um, don't try to study for one thing only try to study for several things choose a subject and then choose different topics in that subject and then try to see if you can study for two at a time and try to see how those two relates because the um, the whole idea behind it is that it allows you to retain information better it allows you to retrieve information better and allow you to make a connection between the two things that you're studying for, right? And then number three, number three is spacing repetition. 
So I think that's very self-explanatory and that's actually one of the reasons why I decided to not take my AZ-104 and take a step back and try to see if I can actually apply some of the things that I've learned in this book. So it talks about when you don't just want to memorize, 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 and like read all of the questions. I know some of you guys have done that. I know some of you guys have done that. <laughs> Do all of the practice tests and then just go take the exam based off of memorization. Um, the idea is to kind of slowly and gradually study for whatever it is that you're studying for space out the test that you go or the quizzes that you're going to give yourself to be able to allow you to retrieve that information and study for it slowly space out everything it allows you to gradually forget things it just gives you enough time to forget things because i've run into that too where sometimes i'm studying for something and it takes like a month and I feel like I've forgotten some of the things that I've learned earlier in that chapter or whatever certificate I'm studying for. But this book kind of tells you to embrace that, right? Embrace that, Just go slow and steady and try to study for your exam and then use the retrieval information by quizzing yourself to be able to retrieve some of the things that you've learned in the previous chapter. And that's one of the reasons why I was like, whoa, I'm gonna take a step back. I'm not gonna take this certificate and I'm gonna to try to kind of relearn a lot of the things that I've learned here, but learn it to stick, not just learn it to um, say, oh, I've pretty much done this certificate and I'm gonna move on to the next one. Try to learn it so it stick. Try to learn it so you can recall it and then build upon that, um, build upon whatever it is uh, that you've learned previously and try to move up in IT, right? Because that's very important when it comes to IT. I think in my previous video, I said that education is the foundation in which our society is built upon. And the, uh, how you choose to get educated, how you choose to get educated is up to you. And that's very important because I'm a lifelong, I'm a lifelong learner. I like to learn new things. And the field that I'm in, you have to learn new things because it's required. So I'm pretty excited. Those are the three main takeaways from this book from Make It Stick. And I'm pretty excited to kind of apply a lot of the things that I've learned here, right? To kind of study for this two exam. And the goal is to try to take this two exam by the end of this month or most likely by um, mid month, mid next month, uh, depending on how I feel about it. I don't want to rush anything. I want to take everything slow and I want to really, really follow the um, all of the tricks and all of the, the things that I've learned in this book, try to follow it when I'm studying for this two exam and try to apply a lot of the things that I've learned. Um, so I'm pretty excited about it. It's a very, very good book. I highly, highly recommend it. If you haven't read it already, um, you can get the audio version of it too and then just listen to it while you walk out or do other things. But it's a very, very good book. It teaches you how to um, rewire your brain or try to how to rethink the way that we've been thought about learning and try to kind of approach learning in a different manner and I'm really excited about it and I'm really excited to see um, how it's going to affect uh, my new studying strategy and I'm, I'm, I'm excited to see if I'm able to pass these two exams uh, that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. Um, if you haven't done so already, make sure you hit the thumbs up button. If you do like the video, um, or if you do like the video, make sure you hit the thumbs up button. If you like content like this, make sure you hit the subscribe button and turn on your notification. Uh, and as always, do not forget to stay geeking. I will see you guys on the next one. Peace.